Yep. I'm not back out. I'm actually in. So what I'm going to do is um, I've got this tent sent to us by Camper Lists. <coughs> Said I would only take tents after that last one, that Zeng 2. I thought I'll give it a go. If it came in this bag, which is like a Roll top thing comes with a footprint. This is the tent and the inner inner's inside. Some pegs or is the inner inner separate for stars. But I think you can leave um, leave the inner attached when you take it down. We'll find out. First of all, you put the footprint down. going to use um, I'm going to use my own pegs because I don't want to get them dirty let's have a look at them anyway let's have a look at what they're like what do they send you what kind of pegs are they? all right you get a patch a repair patch yeah they're just them um, Y pegs that you get on decent gear they're all right them pegs Oh, there is two, four, six, three, six, nine, there's ten, ten pegs. That took some counting, didn't it? Anyway, I keep them clean, just like that, you know. So I'm going to set this up here. Um, I do a time lapse, right? Because the first time I've set it up, and I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing here. So this could be interesting. How hard can it be? <laughs> fine-tune it. I'm gonna get in and put the inner inside. This is not right. This bit's not right. Oh, maybe I need to pull that out a bit more. Is it? Is that what it is? No. I'll get there. The size of it though. Look at the size of it in there. <laughs> it's like a marquee. It's like a marquee mark in the funky bunch. It's huge. Where the poles go in these reinforced points here. Obviously you've got the doors, the double door. There's a door on that side as well, pole there. I've got them at 135. Maybe go up and down a little bit. These are the hanging points for the inner. I'm assuming that there's hanging points up here in these corners find out so the ground sheet goes in I, I think so I think what it is is your ground sheet goes along the back of here and you've got the two porch areas so your ground sheet will sit in the middle like yep and then you'll have the two porches two vestibules whatever you want to call them but we'll get the inner hung up this is it this is the inner just gotta work it out see best to set it up in your garden before you imagine trying to do that with a hill in the wind you'd be all over the place it's hard work easy once you know how to do it so we'll get that set up and we'll we'll do some adjustments the guy lines are quite good quite strong they've got like them hillyberg runners They're easy to adjust the X pack patches here reinforced and here whiz looks whiz looks I'm back. I've got this tight to the fence I can't put it in the grass but it would go it would go like that this obviously is the other door Door. all sealed 
No need to seam seal it. What other seals are taped? I think they are. I think they're all taped. Taped seams. Which is good. Very good. Right, let's get the rest of it up. Sort out the shape of it. Also, I've got the inner in inside just attaches one of these points here and I've got guy lanes on to get it bathtub style bathtub shape it's all sorts of little things on it little toggles and I suppose I could go in there couldn't I let you pull through there Just stick a peg in for now it's probably what you meant to do the peg in so it's a nice flat bathtub yeah. oh yeah flat bathtub let's take my shoes off muddy this garden like. the wind has killed me garden oh dear so what do we have hanging points useful useful there was hooks up there in that corner it's a t-zip which in my opinion, Ugh. can't do it one hand. Make one handed zip. T zip, right? Which is better than a J zip, isn't it? As you can open it right up. Let's have a look at the, the space in here, right? There's my feet at the bottom. All right. Look, look at all the headroom. <laughs> it's massive. And then. Oh, way. That is one large tent. It's a two man, two man tent. But great for one man. Look, they've got a pocket there. And there's another one at the end. Two pockets. Reinforcements. It's quite windy today as well. It's, uh, it's standing up to it. Right, the only thing can't work out is these right they obviously to tie the, the door back the mesh door but it could do with like hanging points up there couldn't it I suppose it's all right I suppose it's all right I'm loving the space in here and then you've got your You've got your vestibule, it's quite big. You can cook in there quite easily. Quite easily cook in there. Store your gear in that side. Or vice versa, whichever. There's a wind picking up. So I haven't really guided out very tight. Because that one at the back isn't... Uh, the one, This back one isn't tied properly, it's just tied to the fence. But there's loads of reinforcement patches. The seamed seals is good. Sealed seams. The the bath the bathtub sealed. That feels a lot. Uh, remember the Zeng 2 tent. The floor was really, really thin. This feels a bit better. This is going to be a good, a good little uh, like lightweight camp, you know. Oh, I like it. I do. I even like the colour. Sandy sand. So yeah, look at all this headroom. I'm sitting up here. I mean, I'm six foot five, foot eleven, five foot eleven. We've got quite a bit of headroom here. So if you're six foot four, you'd be up here somewhere. But you know, you can just sit down like a bit. You've got all the space in the world to stretch out there. That's about it's seven, seven foot long. And there's more. And it's seven, seven and a half feet, that easy. Little hanging points up there. Mentioned them. Tie backs. Tie backs. Oh, yes. I'm liking this. This is just the first level I want to set it up before I took it out. What I've got to do is sort out these 
edges here which don't look right I think that might just be this I've got no space in here I've run out of space in the garden so I had to set it up on an angle and once I get them ironed out that should be all right see there that bit if I can get that sorted I should be laughing yep I'll have another look outside here we go tighten it up a little bit close the doors so you've got uh, a guy line <laughs> We've got Velcro closes their storm protectors. Double thing there. That's your vent. You've got another thing on the top there if you want to give it extra pull out, you know, like tied to a tree or whatever you are. If they've got trees around you. I still can't get this bit right. Don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've done something wrong here. I will fix that because the other sides went right. Ugh. Yeah, it's just like a, um, it's like a mirror image of the other side. So you've got a double, double porch vent there. See how it goes down to the floor. Oh, what do you think? Lanshan beater. I've got to get it back in the bag now. So what I'm going to do is bring it, take it down, roll it up with the inner still attached. I'll take the footprint off and I'll try and get it in the bag because these things are quite tight getting back in the bag, but it should go in. Problem is, it's got that newness sheen to it. So you know, when you roll it up, it's really hard to keep a hold of the tent. It slips out your hand, but yeah, oh, I like it. It's huge. Once I perfect setting that up, that'll be great. I'll definitely be using this. Right, let's see if I can get it back in this bag. There you go. Doesn't go in like the factory, but back in you just give it roll it nice and tight and it'll go in no bother and it's one of them ones where it clips either side and there's like a roll top but that's it one and a half kilos there's the inner in there as well footprints down here I'll just set that in a separate bag that's the bag <laughs> so there we go whist looks Lorry 2 first impressions can't wait to try it out just want the storms to vanish and then we'll be out all these named storms not helping not helping I was going to go out today but I didn't feel very well so I did this instead tiny get that in your backpack this is no way in it one and a half kilos if that, I'll have to check. It's good though. I'll put the links in the description. It's cheap as well. So if you've got a Lanshan or you were looking at a Lanshan, this is the boy. Seam sealed. All them guy lines on it already attached to inner. It's not a four season inner. Apparently they are going to do a four season inner. But, you know. Completely protection, the, the uh, flash it goes right down to the ground, so I think you need a four season inner unless it's really cold. So there we go, Wizlux Lorry 2. I like it. <laughs>